Lucy Svencina Svetlana Chimrova now the joint championship record holder and Liliana Zilagi along with Stephanie Wan too so it will be a nervous wait for those from heat number one who aren't guaranteed yet a place in the semis but Gemma Schlitt could easily now be the fastest qualifier how is Chimrova going to respond though she's seen somebody equal her championship record and she goes in lane number four. Jirina Shiga of Japan is in one. 101.73 was her qualification time. Looking a bit tense out there. Unlike the Canadian, big smiles and flags on both sides of the face. Frederic Signer, 101.28 the Canadian. Lucy Svencina is in three for the Czech Republic. One minute point four one was her prelim time. This is the girl to watch though in lane number four, Russia's Svetlana Chimrova. 59.30, a championship record in the prelims. Liliana Zilagi looking very fashionable. She goes in lane number five, the Hungarian, 59.80. Also a threat for a medal. And sadly, her grandfather died last week. And she has promised her family in his memory she will bring home a medal of some color. And this event, one of her best chances to do exactly that. Mizuzu Yabu in six of Japan. Another Canadian goes in lane number seven, Lily Margite. 101.47 was her prelim time. Don't rule out, despite the lane draw, Stephanie Wan of Australia in lane number eight. Big support for her as well. Prelim time was slow by her standards, though, 102.00. Lisa Hopping and also Louise Agnes Wiand of Sweden, both missing out. They were the first alternates. Right, I have the results as well of the boys' 100 meter freestyle. As I mentioned earlier, my maths was correct. Paul Powers, Ivan Kuzmenko and Jan Holub all tied for eighth on 50.37. Now, originally, Powers was given a time of 50.36, and it was then marked up by 0.01 of a second. What that meant is, originally, Ivan Kuzmenko and Jan Holub missed out, but now they're equal and all tied for eighth. And what happens is a swim-off to determine who will take the last place in the final. And I understand that will be first up tomorrow morning. I'll give you the other seven who are definitely in after this race. Shiga in one, Signa of Canada in two, Svencina, Czech Republic in three, Chimrova, the favorite in four for Russia. Zalagi of Hungary quickest into the pool in five. Yabu Japan in six has made a good start. Margitai of Canada in seven and one of Australia in lane number eight. Not much between any of them at the moment. Margaret of Canada, the only one slightly struggling in lane number seven. Svencina, the first to turn in lane number three. Chimrova in second place. Zilagi in lane five and third. Svencina split 27.50. That's quite quick. But here comes the Russian Chimrova now. Can she better her championship record? It's looking good for her at the moment. Chimrova of Russia. She's going to beat the championship record for my money and does. 58.75. Another championship record for the Russian favorite. And she is the fastest qualifier to the final. Zilagi of Hungary, 59.11. That would have been good enough as well for the championship record had Chimrova not been involved. So that's quick too. And I said this was one of her best chances of winning a medal for her grandfather. Good time. Second fastest qualifier. And Yabu of Japan in third from lane number six. That's a good swim as well by the Japanese girl. One minute point oh six though, not especially quick. And Signa of Canada in fourth from lane number two, 101.07, despite a slow start. And she's going to have to wait and see if that is good enough to make the top eight.